I really want a blunderbuss now. 15 foot range, anything closer, impossible to miss, baby. Yeah, I just saw Ryan Johnson's looper. So we have Joseph Gordon-Levitt here in the future. He's a hitman for the mob. But not just any mob, the future mob. And not just his time slash our future mob. No, he also works for the mob in his future. And the way this works is the mob in the future uses illegal time travel to send hits back to the past for their mob guys in that time to kill the person and dispose of the body. Which makes things really easy for the future mob because in that time, dead bodies aren't so easy to get rid of. Uh, everything's basically tracked and traceable. If it sounds complicated and convoluted, uh, that's really my fault. Uh, honestly, you can watch the trailer and it'll make perfect sense. And then, in the movie itself, it makes even more sense, so, so don't worry about that. But alright, so JGL is one of these specialized hitmen called Loopers. And Loopers get paid huge bucks. They make bank. And it's actually a pretty easy job. You just chill out where the time machine sends people at the time your boss gives you, and when the dude just pops into time right in front of you, you pull the trigger on your blunderbuss and have a nice day. You can even learn a new language on the job! JGL's listening to French lessons while he's waiting for his kill. And then you have enough time to hit up a local diner and have a cup of coffee. So yeah, it's a totally chill job. That is, if you're cool with, you know, killing people from the future and all. And these people could be anyone. Even yourself. And that's the premise of the movie here. JGL's there at the job to off his target of the day when... Who does it happen to be? His future self, played by Bruce Willis. JGL chokes, Bruce Willis gets away, so JGL has to hunt Bruce down and kill him or else the mob will do not so nice things to him. So that's what they show you in the trailer, but seriously, the trailer for this does a phenomenal job at giving you just enough of a taste to know that this is an insanely interesting premise, but not enough to give the whole story away. There is a lot going on in this movie. They really build their own world here, from the mythology of the loopers, the, the time travel, the mob, and the other hitmen that work for the mob. The stuff this film does with time travel is insanely imaginative. I could honestly just listen to JGL or Greg Daniels, who, who plays JGL's boss, just explain how things work in this world. That alone would be interesting. There's a lot that they could really expand on, potentially. There's even telekinesis in the movie, and I remember seeing that in the trailers and being like, wait, 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 Pe people are floating things around in their hand? Alright, but I thought this was about time travel. But really, they handle it pretty ironically. It's a genetic mutation that crops up in the future, and at first people thought that it was going to be like super crazy awesome and they'd have superheroes and stuff. But in reality, it can only like levitate quarters as a neat party trick. I thought that was a pretty interesting thing to throw in. But it's the little things like this that really make these science fiction worlds interesting and flesh them out. And I love that shit. I love a movie that can imaginatively create its own system that the story and characters work in. This is how a sci-fi movie like this should work create a really cool world and show just a great story in it. And this definitely turns out as an awesome sci-fi movie. I have a feeling this one will be one of the sci-fi legends of the era. Right up there next to Moon and District 9 and Super 8, Sunshine, Source Code, Prometheus, Inception. And you know what? Not only is it a great time travel movie, it's an awesome dystopian future movie. Ah, it's got like so much that I can love in it. And if Looper is anything to judge from, Ryan Johnson is a killer director and a fantastic writer. Yeah, I haven't seen Brick, I haven't seen The Brothers Bloom, and I haven't even seen his Breaking Bad episodes. But holy crap, man, do I ever want to check them out now. And I, I can't wait to see what else he does in the future. Looper is an incredibly smart movie. It, it really keeps you thinking. When I was watching this in the theater, I kept making predictions to myself, like little outcomes that I was creating in my head to see if I could, you know, outsmart the flick. Because that's what I like to do with these intelligent movies. See if I can beat it. But in a good, fun, battle of the minds way. Let me tell you. This movie beat me. I came up with all kinds of predictions through this thing. And by the start of the climax, I realized that all of them were wrong. It keeps you guessing. It, it gives you clues and you're looking for little things to catch. But in the end, it's just leading you on. It tricks you. But really, you only have yourself to blame. You were the one looking for things that weren't there. It's not unfair. 
it was just your fault your imagination was biting on the lines this movie threw you. I really love that. If a movie can get me guessing, predicting, and then it beats me, that's a damn good flick with damn good writing. So I say definitely check this film out. If you have any interest in science fiction stories, you must see this. It's one of the best there is in our time. Now I've got to go shopping for a blender, but see you later.